Hi, this is Wally Anderson from Synergy Air. Today we're going to talk about the Safe Air pitot-static systems. So here we've got three different color tubing that they supply. Keeps the pitot and static system separate. They also make an alternate static source kit. Here I'm showing that. Uh, it's a simple aluminum pin you pull out of the T and there is a screw that attaches to like a firewall or a sub panel. This is a simple little T fitting that allows you one line in and two lines out. It also can mount onto something rigid. And this is a coupler. So if you have two different tubes that you need to connect together, you just push them. This is a static port that would go on the side of the plane, a quarter inch hole on the side. Often we'll just glue this down with a pro seal on the side of the plane. And here I've got all the fittings as they would be in the back of the plane. A T-fitting going forward and all the area uh, above it drains down and keeps the moisture out. This is a fitting that's designed to bring aluminum tubing in and tie in with the plastic. And you just go ahead and unscrew this fitting out. This is 1 8 inch national pipe thread in the brass. So you could put any size in that you wanted and allows you to convert into the plastic tubing. Here we've got some T fittings. The brass fittings actually swivel and the other has three tubes coming into it and some 90 degree elbows. One that has a brass fitting national pipe thread, 1 8 inch and two tubes coming in. These would often be used on a back of an airspeed indicator where the ports are actually quite close together allows you to rotate them and angle them down. This is how simple the tubing goes in, a flush cut on the end of the tubing, one good strong push, you can feel it click in, give it a slight tug. To release it, all you have to do, pull the collar back, slip the tubing right on back out, and uh, you can refit it. This and some of the other things that are covered in our classes, hope you can attend sometime. Thanks.